Good afternoon. Okay, great. I, I, that was good. I, I heard from two people. Can we try that again? Good afternoon. How are you all doing today? Good, good. My name is Fred Baker. I am one of the dynamic trainers for Leading to Change. Leading Change is a training agency out of Charlotte where we get to travel around doing staff development and professional development. One of the big things that we do at Leading to Change is our youth philanthropy piece, where we have about 25 sites across the state of North Carolina where we teach young people how to be philanthropists. And so this is the, like what we call is the best part of our job, which is a dream job. But a little bit about me, uh, I, uh, I live in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm originally from New York, in New York. Yeah, great shopping, right? <laughs> but uh, spent 10 years in the Air Force, uh, got to travel around the world quite extensively. I am a disabled veteran. Uh, yeah, disabled veteran. Yeah, that thing. But uh, uh, I uh, have two children, uh, Jasmine, who's 25, and Rodney, who's 20. I said that out loud, didn't I? All right. We're going to retract that. Don't even worry about what I said there. But uh, what I do with Leading to Change is just simply uh, it's a dream job to be able to travel the way I do. And it's one of, the, one of the major highlights of my job is to be able to work with young folks as like Harmony. Um, when I started with Youth Philanthropy, Harmony was my first uh, Youth Philanthropy team. So Harmony has a really, really special <coughs> place in my heart uh, because of what the young folks have been able to do here in Onslow County. And it's just always a pleasure and a joy to be here, share with them, spend time with them, and just be able to watch the changes that they're able to make in the community. But enough about me. We're going to focus this on you guys. What I need you all to do is stand up. And I need you to find a partner. I need everybody to find a partner. These are just some of the things that, that Harmony gets to do. So everybody's got to find a partner. All right? So everybody hold up your right hand. Hold up your right hand. Now, I need you to count the fingers on your right hand. One. OK. Count the fingers on your right hand out loud, one at a time. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Now count the fingers on your partner's hand, starting with six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now that space between you and your partner is going to be your playing field. OK, we're about to go into a quick competition. It's been a long day. We're looking forward to the end of the day. So we're going to see how sharp we are. All right. So the way this is going to work is when I say one, two, three, you're going to put your, your hand behind the back. When I say one, two, three, go, you must throw out one, two, three, four or five fingers. You must throw out at least one finger on your hand. Everybody understand? There's no zeros. There's no zeros. We don't do zeros. So you must throw out at least one, two, three, four or five fingers. The object is the first person to total up the number of fingers between you and your partner and screams that number out, you're the winner. Everybody understand how that works? So if you throw out three and your partner throws out two, what's the total? Five. Right. So that means whoever screams that out first is the winner of that round. Everybody understand how that works? All right. So now here, here's, one, here's one, one, one disclaimer. If you throw out one finger, since we're all family, you know, this is Onslow, you got to make sure it's the appropriate finger. All right. So we ready to try? We're going to give it a practice round, practice round. Put that hand behind your back, hand behind your back. When I say one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. There you go. That's it. All right. Good job. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause, round of applause. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Round two, round two, round two. Get ready, get ready, get ready. On the count of three, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. All right. Who won that round? Where's the winners? Where the winners? All right. There we go. There we go. Round two, round two. If you haven't won, this is your chance. Let's go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> All right. Who hasn't won a round yet? Who hasn't won a round? Okay, there we go. You're playing for your dignity. You're playing for your dignity. Get ready, get ready, get ready. On the count of three, on your count of three, your hands behind your back. One, two, three, go. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. You can take your seats. That's just one of the different engaging and interactive uh, challenges that we offer with Leading the Change just to be able to, when sometimes we've got to be able to think fast on our feet. And that's the key behind, that's the metaphor behind it, being able to think fast on our feet. The other part of it is, half of it is already won. Anybody didn't already know how many fingers they were going to throw out? Yeah, you're not sure, right? It's amazing how that works. But you already know what you bring to the table. So when you know what you bring to the table, you know what you already add to the mix. It makes it that much easier to be able to uh, be able to come up to a, come up with a solution. Is that all right? 
Good deal, good deal. We appreciate you all being here. I will now, without further ado, bring up Miss Elizabeth and Trucia. Give them a round of applause. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Nallen. Hi, my name is Trucia Patel. And we are members of Harmony. Harmony is short for helping all reach more options through new youth givers. It started in the fall of 2009 with the dual goals of learning about philanthropy through the first-hand experience and supporting programs assisting their peers in the community since, since its beginning. Harmony has granted over uh, sorry, Harmony has granted close to $10,000 to local organizations. The program has taught students how to reach consensus on the beneficial oh my gosh, I can't speak today on the beneficial effects that they desired from the philanthropy how to create a request from proposals to the community and then evaluate the, these proposals. The students have learned methods to reach agreement and evaluate the good that could come from philanthropy. The Onslow County Caring, the Onslow County Caring Communities Foundation has matched our grant funds that we raised this year. And I'm pleased to tell you that we have voted to award these grants to four organizations. Um, this is my third year in Harmony, and I've learned that youth philanthropy is giving your time, your talents, and your treasures to others in the community in the effort to uh, better our community in Onzo County. Um, and that is what Harmony is planning on doing, and that's what we focus on. It's youth philanthropy and giving back to the youth in our community. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit briefly about the Harmony process. We uh, start back in the fall, and we come up with what our application is going to look like and then we go out in our community in our schools in different places and we hand out the applications and we try and get as many uh, requests for the funds as we can uh, and then we sit down as a board and we have to come up with a consensus as to which organizations we would like to fund um, and it has to be unanimous so it's a long process and it takes a while to make sure everyone is okay and can live with the decisions that we make but uh, we are very proud to say that the four organizations tonight are programs that we are very excited for and that we are happy to fund because they uh, we see the benefit that they're going to have on the community uh, so now we're going to watch a short video on harmony <laughs> I joined the Harmony program to experience how you can get back to your community and um, meet new people. I joined Harmony because I have a couple of friends in Youth Council who were telling me about it and I just got really interested so I decided to try it out. I decided to participate in Harmony because I thought it would be a good opportunity to give back to the community. I've always been an advocate for uh, giving back to the projects that will better the community and see change and growth in the community. We have a youth philanthropy program that we run uh, across the state where we teach young, young folks how to make grants to youth-led organizations. We worked on raising money to deliver grants to other organizations that were youth-led, so we did a bunch of like fundraisers and a bunch of cool stuff to do that. So you raise the money yourself um, or get it from uh, sponsors, you decide who is um, who you think would best benefit from the money. You have young folks that are engaged in giving back to their community. So it's so the, the funds that they raise stays within their community to help some of the uh, uh, young other young folks in their communities just be better better citizens. We did a grant last year talking about IOP, which is um, Infinite Park down the street. There was a um, they were building a greenhouse to grow vegetables to grow for like homeless people. So I thought it was pretty, I was pretty proud to be part of that organization that granted the money so they could do their project. The Green Team at White Oak High School is the organization I'm a part of. I am the president of that organization. And last year when I was just a member and not president, we applied to restore the oak to White Oak. And that's when we applied to get trees to plant and beautify our school. And so we did that and it's definitely been, it's given it's given a whole new meaning to what White Oak is and the trees are symbolic and we've had memorials placed by the trees for students who have passed away and so that's really affected the community and this year we applied as well and we received uh, some more money and we are having a family farm day where we're learning about 
um, the different techniques that you can do to have your own sustainable farm so that we can just be healthier overall uh, human beings. Hello everyone, my name is Monica Venegas and I am secretary of White Oak High School's Green Team. And we are teaming up with the FFA and we are going to host a fun to farm day. And what this will do is it will teach people the fun and sustainability of farming. I think that Harmony is a wonderful opportunity. I have definitely grown a lot uh, going through the grant making process and applying for grants myself. So it's good to learn early on how to write a grant and to ask for money and the things that you need to do to get involved. Uh, so that if you're applying for scholarships for college and things like that, you know uh, what you have to do to uh, prove that you're deserving of the money that they're giving away. Uh, we would now like to present the, a check for $301 uh, <laughs> to aspire reaching beyond the obvious. It feels nice to see that a bunch of, a bunch of youth in our community likes to be selfless and help others and not think about just themselves, but their other youth as well. It gives you a sense of accomplishment and that you had a uh, you had a goal and you wanted to work towards it and then you succeeded at getting that goal. So it just makes you feel um, accomplished and that you have made a change in the community. Every year I walk away with knowing that they've, ha they've got a great sense of accomplishment over what they've done. So over the time that, we're, that we meet uh, through the course of the philanthropy year, they know they've made a difference. They know they've created imp an impact. People say there's nothing to do in Jacksonville and we're here right now um, being part of an organization that gives back to your community. Um, I would say that giving money to Harmony is a, it's a great thing to do because you, the people that you are giving money to are the people who will be the future individuals to come and ask for employment at your businesses or to be future uh, customers at your businesses. So these are people who are starting at a young age getting involved in what is happening in their community. Here's an opportunity for businesses to support young folks doing great things. The money stays right here in Onslow County. These young folks are making a change in their community. So when you're give, paying it forward in your own community, every business should want to support that. Every business would, should want to have their name associated with young folks doing positive things. proud to present our first uh, check to Southwest High School's AVID Club for the amount of $400 and their program is the Dream Big College Readiness Initiative and they're um, led by Miss Jessica Doty. Doty. <laughs> You can come and share a little bit about your part. Sure. <laughs> I think most of you are probably familiar with the AVID Club, but if you are not, it stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. And what it is, is it targets um, it targets students that are college bound but may need a little extra assistance, whether they're first generation college students, um, whether their you know parents are just busy. Um, it's a it's a class in, in high school where they give up an elective and work on organizational skills, um, tutorials to help them with other subjects. We do a lot of scholarships, college applications. Um, I'm the AVID coordinator for our school, but I'm also the senior AVID elective teacher. And with only 15 students in my AVID class, including Trusha, um, we received 43 college acceptance letters, I think it was, this year. Um, but along with what we do inside the classroom, we also take trips to colleges all over the state to give them kind of an idea of what the campus looks like, what the campus has to offer. We do monthly pizza socials where we ask members of the community or the staff to speak about their college experience, their job opportunities. Um, we even recently went to Bed Bath & Beyond um, during class just to do dorm room shopping and budgeting. But all of those things cost money. The pizza costs money. The bus drivers um, lunch whenever we go to college campuses. So this money will be wonderfully, wonderfully put to use. And we thank you so much for that. So Thank you.
I would like to present our second grant to Southwest High School SAD Club in the amount of $525 for their I Promise project. Like to come say a few words. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are SAD Club, which stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions, and we are a <clears throat> excuse me peer-led group uh, that helps their peers make better decisions by um, different projects that we do at the school, and the I Promise project is something that we will be doing during the next two weeks before prom. <clears throat> and we are going to be doing various projects. We have ordered uh, little wrist bracelets that we will be giving to them when they sign pledges. We will be doing a senior class prom week breakfast. And when we do this, we have all the seniors going to the gym. We have breakfast for them. And we ask the uh, law enforcement agencies, such as Highway Patrol, Jacksonville Police Department, EMS, the sheriff, um, and we will have a special guest speaker this year, a young lady from Swansboro. And um, we just talked to him about making good decisions during prom weekend, um, about drinking and driving, you know, um, wear your seat belt, don't be texting and driving, you know, drug abuse, some different things that could happen during prom weekend. Those are the things that we try to emphasize so that they will be safe during this time. So, anything? <laughs> you covered it now. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think just SAD Club's really important, and so this money is definitely going to go to good use. We're really, really excited and really proud <laughs> because now we have it. <laughs> now we can. And we another it. thing, we'll, <laughs> another thing we'll be doing um, as the prom participants leave the prom, they will be given a red carnation, and on it will have a tag that says "Make the night magic, not tragic." just as a little reminder as they're leaving prom to, you know, another little reminder, make a good decision. So thank you for this. It will help us out a lot. Next, we are proud to present the White Oak High School Green Team with the amount of $650 for their program, Food for Families. the treasure for green team and we're going to be using this to plant fruit trees and fruit, bush fruit bushes around our campus so this will be a long-term sustainability project and once the fruit is harvested we're going to distribute it to local food shelters to give to the homeless families the homeless families and the families that need it and we're also going to attach information about sustainable farming and give them a little info about where the fruit actually came from We would like to present our final grant to a program called Divine Cover to Cover in the amount of $100 for their project, Keep It Real and Stay Alive.
Um, on behalf of Divine Cover to Cover, um, Keep It Alive, I will say thank you, but I'm going to actually let my daughter do most of the talking. But this is um, a project that we actually started out of our church that we're working with as far as education. It's our biggest thing is trying to make sure that everybody has education and understanding of different things. And she's going to go through what alive actually means. And thank you. Um, the group alive means always living in view of eternity. Um, our motto is keep it real and stay alive. Um, our theme is from the Bible quote, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Un under one umbrella, we will make a difference. Um, the alive crew members are a group of nine, which includes three adults and six teens from Richlands. We will use this money to educate youth on bullying anxiety, depression, suicide awareness, balancing life, and sex educational classes. Our goals are to help youth to be prepared for the ACT and the SAT test. We recognize that college is not for everyone, so we will, see, so we will be preparing you for the workforce as well. We will have classes on how to apply for a job, how to interview, what to wear, what to say during the interview. Etiquette of stop bullying. We ask the questions why bullying, how to defeat bullying, facing bullying. We will teach self-defense classes as well. We will teach finance, voting, educational classes that talk real talk about the real problems that you deal with in life. And that is what our group stands for and what we will use its money for. And thank you for this money. that was our final presentation and we as Harmony would just like to say another thank you and good luck to all the organizations that did receive money uh, if we did not believe in you then we would not have given you money so thank you uh, so much for everything that you're doing for the community and now I would like to introduce Miss Carmela George our fearless leader uh, for some parting words thank you Good evening. Um, thank you all for coming and thank you for the work that you are doing in this community to make this community a better place for yourself and your peers. Um, that is to be commended. So give yourselves another round of applause. Um, there are a number of organizations which help make this program possible. Um, uh, First of all, the city of Jacksonville supports this program greatly. Mr. Glenn Hargett was the visionary that brought this program to Jacksonville. Definitely want to say thank you to him. Um, Old Navy allowed us to participate in a job um, shadowing experience, and they uh, made a donation from there. And of course, the Onslow Caring Community Foundation, which has supported us for the last few years in the funding that we are able to grant to you guys. So we're thankful for them. And this year, we also had Miss De Debbie Ray Rouse, um, who is one of the leaders in our community, who also made a donation to the prog program. So we are very thankful for that. And I cannot forget um, Leading to Change, which um, comes monthly from Fayetteville and Charlotte to help us organize these programs and um, teach our students here about youth philanthropy. So. Um, we definitely are appreciative to all our sponsors for making this program happen, but I cannot end this program without saying how very proud I am of my Harmony students. They are, if I could pick any students in the world to be in this program, it would be them. Um, they are wonderful, and I'm going to ask all of them to come back up one more time and take a bow. I'm a little sad because about half the group that's here tonight, we do have some members missing. and this is not the whole group. Um, apparently there's a big track meet happening today. And so um, I'm gonna ask my seniors if they wanna have a final word to a number of them are um, doing major things after they graduate in a month, so. Okay, um, my name is Elizabeth, like I said earlier. Um, Harmony has been an awesome experience for me. This is my third year 
and I have been so proud of everything that we've done every year. The different programs that we've helped have, I've seen them, the effects that they've had in our community and seen some of the actual programs happen that we do fund and they're awesome things and I appreciate this program and Ms. Carmela and Mr. Glenn for everything that uh, they do for us so that we can make sure that we are doing our part to give back to the community. So I'm very thankful for everything that Harmony has done for me in my life. So my name is Trusha and I've been in Harmony for two years. I was first introduced to it by actually Elizabeth and Robert, who you saw in the video. They convinced me to join Harmony because they thought that I was fit to be in it. And what I've seen for the past two years are just amazing things from what the youth has done and how active our community is. Honestly, I'll be honest, I thought Jacksonville was one of those places that nobody did anything, everyone kept to themselves, but I was proven wrong through Harmony. Through Harmony. And I'm proud to say that the youth is very, very active in, in Jacksonville. Excuse me. And they are not afraid to make change to things that they want to do. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Sierra. I've been in Harmony for three years. I was introduced to Harmony um, from the Jacksonville Youth Council. My mom told me to sign the paper, sign the paper, and I came. And um, I never wanted to leave ever since. It was awesome. Like, I saw how many youth did what they wanted to do um, in Jacksonville, Onslow County. Not in just Onslow County. They would have a summit. The youth count, Harmony has a summit every year. And it's a place, just like a big party for all youth who's in Leading to Change. And it's so many youth out there who wants to do something in their community, something helpful, and it's, it's an amazing place. It really is. I told Ms. Carmela I'm not graduating. Mm -hmm. Although I'm a senior, I'm not going anywhere. So um, yes, I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you for all your efforts in keeping this program going, and let's do it again next year. Take a bow. Thank you, everyone. You guys have a good evening.